So just to start off introducing myself, I'm Andy Pace of the Co-Intelligence Institute. It's all about um, looking at collective wisdom and how can we create collective wisdom and uh, what ways can um, we use that to create a better society for everybody and for future generations. And um, that's a little bit of an introduction to Co-Intelligence Institute. There's a lot more to it than that. But the most important thing is that we're here in East London in this fantastic venue called Newspeak House, a place of uh, civic tech and hack nights and sort of trying to improve democracy through technology. And today we're really fortunate to have um, Fang Rei Chang and Xu Yang Lin, who are both um, involved in the world of democracy innovation from Taiwan. And um, yeah, maybe be great just to, to sort of start off introducing yourself, saying what you're doing now, and um, then we can talk about V Taiwan and GovZero and stuff like that. So, cool. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I'm Shu, um, Shu Yangling, and I am a co founder of PDs and been working with Audrey Town Digital Master for about six years now. And um, during the years uh, of working with the government, I was also participating uh, in the civic tech community in Taiwan called GovZero, where a project called VTaiwan uh, was um, one, of the project, one of the projects I was really passionate about. And it's about reforming uh, digital regulations uh, with the power, uh, with the um, voice of the people and collaboration with the government as well. So um, just really passionate about civic participation and bettering democracy with the um, different sectors from, from grassroots to, to, to helping the government um, and create something uh, that is um, uh, future looking and um, a different kind of democracy we call collaborative democracy instead of representative one. Um, so yeah, bring a story of Taiwan and try to share with the world. Mm -hmm. And you're here now in London and What's, uh, what brings you to London? Um, mainly for love. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so my partner lives in London right now. I move here um, to, to accompany, uh, accompany her and um, we, are, we are looking to do something with uh, this, this country, with UK. So I'm looking for what I can do over here. I'm in a transitioning mode uh, while PD's uh, Evolve into digital ministry of uh, ministry of digital affairs in the late in the end of August 2022. Um, I will start a new contract in 2023, uh, but part time. So uh, in the meantime, I'm now looking to accommodation, but also a place to to contribute my efforts. Mm, amazing! Welcome to London. It's fantastic to have you here. And Feng Rei. In the, uh, in the past six years, um, working with Shu and Audrey and others, I mainly um, play an orchestration role of the Participation Officer Network, which is um, expanding um, open policy making um, from the government side and working with wider stakeholders to open up the participation processes. Um, allowing more voices to be part of uh, the the policy making um, scene. So that was uh, my main contribution, and um, at the same time a participant at, um, in the Gulf Zero community and also V Taiwan. Mm, fantastic! I really liked um, the fact you young that you were saying that you know you were really passionate about bringing more voices into democracy and into policy making. It would be really interesting to hear what you were passionate about in, in GovZero and, and VTaiwan. Yeah, so VTaiwan, just the basics, right? It's, um, it's a platform for, for, um, for people to, to participate directly into decision making, uh, especially on um, modifying laws and regulations. Um, of course, it has a twist into just modifying the digital ones because it's very much of the digital community. Um, what the, the, the years I uh, was engaged in V Taiwan, I learned a lot, uh, almost from nothing, to be really understanding the, the beauty of um, uh, direct democracy or collaborative democracy, where um, it's everyone's responsibility to, to participate. 
And uh, before that, I have a background of design, in particular uh, interaction design. And I've been always thinking about if there's one interaction that everyone needs to, uh, uh, to, to, to work on or to, to do, what would that be? Um, this collective interaction that everyone can work on will create a um, systematic change, uh, which I think is really related to collective intelligence. And throughout the years of uh, participating in V-Taiwan, I, I found the interaction of partic participation is really beautiful because uh, if everyone participates, then we'll have a more energetic and better society. And that's the power of, it's kind of the source, the force of how democracy can, 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 uh, can function really well. Um, so, so yeah, back to my, 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 my passion in, um, in uh, creating a better democ democracy is mostly about uh, helping everyone to participate. How can we uh, create or curate a platform or tools or processes for people to, to participate uh, every day? Um, and I think that will be the key to, to have a better democracy. Mm -hmm. That's cool, really cool. Thank you, Xion. <laughs> Yourself, Henri. I'm very passionate about um, involving non-human voices or non-human king folks' voices into the democracy and participatory uh, democracy processes. And I think there is a huge need in order to, um, if we want to respond to the, cri the, the crisis of climate change and equality, poverty and so on, I think we need to restore the relationship with non-human king folks. And so a land is not just, um, real, uh, not just a property, um, not just a tool for us to store and extract wealth, but actually um, we're in relationship with the land. Um, they provide food for us and we care for them in order to have fertile ground and be able to support wider biodiversity. So I think I, I'm really interested in um, advancing democracy um, through this route of re restoring our relationship with uh, non-human king folks and being able to involve non-human king folks in the decision-making processes. So we're talking about here, talking about um, the animal kingdom, the, the land, um, does that also, I, I guess, also future generations? Future that, generations yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, those minerals, rivers, wow, mountains. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's fascinating. Yeah. Uh, there's a whole interview we could do on that potentially, but uh, yeah, fantastic.